Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today, 6th November. Nifty ends today at 24,493 and Bank Nifty at 52,378. Before proceeding to our uh, market update, I wish to share a few learnings which we analyzed during our last week because I believe uh, that will be an added uh, advantage or uh, it will give some uh, basic learnings how to identify the support in the falling uh, trend. Okay. On October 25th, okay, price at important support and uh, I said that 24200 to 24080 can be the important support. This is on October 25th, you can see the date and the low was 24070 I guess and our expected level was 2480, I not removed that line. See exactly the price got support and moved higher. During this time, when the price moving higher, I received some request even from a learners and subscribers that this is a below this point right this high does not cross this high so they took this as wave 1 wave 2 wave 3 4 and 5 can we assume the correction has been ended here here the wave 4 has been traded in the wave 1 but their assumption is uh, some sort of ending pattern may happen because the price reached important support yes i agree but if it is an ending diagonal, okay, the pattern should be visible as a diagonal, okay. Here it is not a clear diagonal pattern, first thing. Second, while I see this, this wave pattern, okay, wave character does not have the wave 5 character. So, I assumed it as wave 3. So, I assume that this correction can be a running uh, correction where the C wave ends uh, below this wave A. That is not a usual thing. But I assume because of giving importance to the wave character, I assumed it as wave 3. If it is wave 3, there are two conditions. The prior wave is wave 1 and obviously there is one more low. Okay, this is the assumption. This is the assumption I made and uh, because of that reason, I shared this on October 28th. Price turned exactly from our level of 2480. So, need to check around 24440 to 24520, and uh, I think the price reversed from 24500 exactly in our zone, right? So, we got the support of 20,080 and resistance of 24500 to make one more low because we are expecting a wave 5 down. This is the assumption made, say 24,070, the price is getting support. I expect the wave 4 to go higher and come one more low okay and uh, i will share the one minute video which we discussed during the october 25th analysis and uh, the price exactly moved as per our expectation only okay i will add that uh, video now this is possible okay and uh, primarily we need to see the support point of 23880 which is the previous low around this zone not exactly 23880 around that uh, zone the price uh, may take support fine if the price does not take support then we can expect the important support of 23750 to 23650 right see the thing is primarily we need to see where the price takes support it's already close to the previous low so the price may take support there but if any gap down or price crossing that limit uh, with speed if not with the uh, ending pattern as per the waves then the price may approach 23750 to 23650 so we need to see how the price reacts first here then we may uh, uh, decide about the other options yes as you just saw the price uh, decline see this analysis we did on october 25th and uh, exactly the price gave a bounce and came one more load to touch this point Right, few uh, 100 points is acceptable, and we also have an important support of 23760 to 23670. And uh, even if you take the upper borderline of 23760, the exact low was 23800 810. Right, so the price uh, took support in our zone only. Fine, and uh, this is the chart. So, expected a uh, wave pattern, waves leading the price, and uh, wave 4 
uh, will react like this ABC or ABCDE. See, before happening, I am marking the leg down. Okay, the price even the price is moving higher, trading near to the previous high. I marked one more low and the price start come lower. So this is how waves leads the price. Fine. And uh, also, uh, this I shared on November 4 because with the help of waves, even we can identify the minute turning point also. This is a 15 minutes chart and uh, I remember the price was declining very fast. See here, see the nature. Okay, even this decline, do you find any uh, reversal here? Wait, let me share RSI also. Okay, during this time, okay, during this time, did you see any RSI divergence? No, right? No RSI divergence, but with the help of only waves and FIPS, I shared one thing, very short term count when it was trading around 23,860, need to see between 23,800 to 813 levels for some support or pause in decline. Okay, see the nature of fall and the expected support 23,800 to 23,830 and the actual low was I think 23,816. Okay, from 23,816, the price got support, a pause in decline has been seen. That's the idea. Okay, and exactly the price stopped there and started moving higher. Even, I said that if it gets support, one low from the bounce may come. Right? That is, one low is still open. Everything happened. And uh, this one, this is very important. The price stopped its decline exactly from our levels and bounced 200 points. Our expectation is still one more low. So the levels need to watch is 24,025 to 24,100. See the high, 24,035, right? Exactly, the price got uh, rejection and came lower. And the most important point is this. I always uh, tell to my learners and uh, other subscribers, whoever asks doubts in LA waves, don't believe in the lost leg, okay? The entry should be always at the turning point, okay? So, you need not to carry the position till the last leg to end. Give some uh, points to the market. Don't try to catch the top and bottom. And uh, if you see, this is fifth of fifth that's the primary expectation see this is one two three four and five this is fifth wave this is the last leg in that last leg we are assuming one two three four five this is fifth of fifth so uh, those points are not highly reliable okay it can be truncated or even it can move beyond that point but if you identify it as a lost leg, a little be cautious. That's my learning. Okay, that's my learning. And uh, that is the reason I said, so the levels need to watch is 24,025. Yes, the price got rejected exactly here. And if moves below today's low, please understand. If the price moves below today's low, then we can uh, expect a support of 23,760 to 23,670. The price not made a low, right? Okay, the low was not breached by the price. So, I am trying to give a lot of learnings in the treats itself. Right, uh, this is the reason I said and also I said one more level. View is invalid above 24200. Because the price already reached our important support of 23800. And uh, this is fifth of fifth. So, the last leg cannot be trusted and I am expecting the price to bounce back. That's why I said if the previous low crossed, then we can expect that support or the 24,200 is the invalid zone. I hope you understand the uh, a learning which I shared in this one particular tweet. Okay. So, this is what we learned and uh, this is how we exactly identified all these 
corrective patterns the price exactly turned from our support even though there are a lot of events across the globe and uh, we analyzed this setup and this analysis levels was done on october 25th itself and one more thing i want to say that uh, in many charts you can see rsi has not uh, worked well during this correction you can find uh, rsi divergences but the price keeps on going lower you can check uh, many charts okay during this decline uh, rsi divergence will be appearing while the price is moving but the price keeps on uh, moving lower and rsi also keeps on moving lower so this is what i'm uh, saying to my learners rsi is the last thing you need to consider fine so what we may expect in coming days so as per the expectation the price is moving higher and even i said that uh, one or two videos before if the bounce comes the bounce uh, should be uh, a good and decent uh, pullback whether the correction has been over here okay and the new impulse has been started that is on condition or a b c that is also valid or a b c d whatever pattern okay because i am considering it as a some sort of wave 4 minor wave 4 or bigger wave 4 so all are possible now but for coming days the bounce is expected couple of videos back i said that if the bounce comes we can expect 25000 to 25200 levels right 25000 to 25200 is expected in the bounce if it is a b wave kind of a structure right so this is the minimum expectation and for that okay for that we need to see what pattern it takes so the possibility of reaching 25000 is in three waves maybe a uh, b and c okay this is the expectation now we need a more uh, price action so the possible resistance may come between 24600 to 24670 these are approximate numbers okay and if it gets rejected we can expect a b and one more leg high based on the price action we may discuss in the weekend video so this is the expectation as of now so resistance and a pullback and may go lower or if the price moves uh, still higher yes our expectation is 25000 25000 is still possible okay so this is the update on nifty and as i said the uh, bank nifty is not a clear uh, structure even i said in previous video that we can follow the nifty because bank nifty is uh, fully going on sideways in the sideways the marking is little difficult so i'm getting clue from the nifty if nifty wants to move like this bank nifty also can take uh, a move like this okay and i hope you remember i said that there is an uh, unfinished business and the nifty bank may touch this gap one more because i can see only a three way move here i expected the price to come lower okay even i said this in previous video but the price surprisingly moved higher because of the intermarket uh, divergence it is still looking like a three way move so possibly the price here can make a three way move again to touch this 52565 to 52800 and if the price crosses we may expect this level of 53200 okay these are the possibilities now we need to see how the price action behaves so currently if the price not uh, moves above this level with the gap up this area can be the resistance like this area can be resistance this is the update on nifty and bank nifty and uh, many people asked for uh, broader markets this is small cap 100 and uh, you see these two lines we discussed in our previous weekend analysis that the price may take support here and exactly the price takes support here i am not able to update uh, in previous week but the price moved exactly as per our expectation only if it is wave 4 as we discussed 1 2 3 4 5 the price may start moving higher because uh, we have higher scope in the broader markets also but this higher number coming in this leg or after a fall they need to wait and see if bank nifty and uh, nifty also wants to make one more low after this pullback broader markets also come one more low to this level of 17000 to 16700 this level already we discussed in our previous weekend analysis i mean a couple of weeks back let us see the price crosses this level first 19400 approximately 
and how it crosses that is very important right then only we can anticipate whether it can be a, a new high or a complex structure and may come lower because we need to see nifty and bank nifty also so we as of now we don't know whether the correction has been ended here or not so that's the underlying idea okay as per the expectation the, we are getting the bounce now so we need to observe the bounce first and uh, as you know the dow theory suggests that all indices will move in a similar way so if nifty bank nifty wants to come lower broader markets also make some complex matter and even maybe expanded and come lower anything may be possible so we need to see how the nifty and bank nifty moves primarily nifty since bank nifty is a, a complex structure fine i hope you understand and i am thought of uh, uh, sharing silver update only on weekend analysis but many requests on silver see and uh, if you see in a uh, daily chart or four hourly chart it may look like a, a three wave pattern only so three wave pattern suggests the end of correction okay and the price may start moving higher but at the same time if you look at a uh, daily or weekly see uh, let me move to the weekly this can be wave 1 wave 2 and all can be wave 3 okay in this i can see a five wave structure here okay if this is a five wave structure and ends here we may see some uh, a reasonable uh, decline or sideways pattern may develop because it can be wave 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. In weekly, the price pattern is looking different when comparing the shorter term uh, pattern. So, if I get doubts like this, I uh, preferably manage the risk first. So, I will wait for some other confirmation because... Okay, if this is the last wave, right, let me draw one thing, one, two, three, okay, assume it is three, and if it is wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and wave five, the wave five completes, then obviously you will get a decline in a ABC pattern, one thing, and if it is one, two, three, four, five, we will get a fourth wave, bigger fourth wave here, fine. So, assume it is a last leg. In last leg also, I can see a clear 5-wave pattern. So, this is why I am getting some doubts. If I am getting only a 3-wave pattern here, I will uh, say that there is a one more high still possible and we may expect a new high. And if you remember, uh, in our older videos, we said that 34 and 35 zone is important resistance and the price may reach that level. I hope you remember. See, the price high was around 35. I, I said around 34 dollars I, I believe right I said 34 is expected in this impulse so the price is uh, taking rejection from our expected level only if not I can think in other way since the price is taking resistance in our zone I will wait for some pattern may develop okay if it is 1 2 3 4 5 the price may take some other sideways is also possible or the price should make a new high in a impulse then only the pattern may change. But considering if I see in a weekly, the two highs, okay, the two highs looking like uh, some sort of uh, correction or ending diagonal may develop in coming times. Uh, as I said, uh, when I get a doubt like this, I will wait for some more confirmation. But my primary idea is some sort of uh, correction or sideways is possible in this level, okay. If the price moves higher, new highs with the impulse pattern, then we may decide or else it may make uh, some ending diagonal structure and come lower. Okay. So, we are uh, some sort of near resistance or already in resistance. This is my view as of now in the silver. And uh, one more request, uh, as I said in multiple uh, videos, don't uh, trade based on my views. I am trying to uh, share all these levels to understand only the potential of Elliott waves. My idea is you need to uh, get inspired with the uh, Elliott waves and the potential of wave theory and you should learn the wave theory 
and you need to apply on your own okay and again uh, uh, don't think that i am asking you to uh, learn from my course you can learn the wave theory without uh, paying any fees a lot of information available in the website books so my advice is to learn first and uh, don't trade in fndos okay i am primarily a cash trader i have said uh, multiple times i am repeating again if you are not experienced or if you are not having a sufficient uh, capital please don't trade in fndos so don't uh, take it as any sort of recommendations i'm just sharing my opinion here so this is the update on nifty bank nifty broader markets and uh, silver so the thing uh, we need to understand is we exactly got the turning point here here even here right and on october 25th itself we know that this will happen so that's the uh, advantage of using the elliott wave in a proper way so i hope you like this video if you wish to learn the elliott wave in a proper way in 100% practical way you can register my course i give all the details in the description and uh, if you wish to get the market updates twice a week you can subscribe my channel and uh, share it with your friends traders and families so thank you trade safe we'll meet you in the weekend market update take care